Hey, I'm Leah, founder of Momovation.com, and boy oh boy, do we have a huge, earth-shaking investigation to share with you. To all my vegan friends, and also friends who are increasing their plant-based foods, you want to pay attention to this. You probably assume that when you eat an organic product that it's free from pesticides like glyphosate, right? Well, we did some testing and found out that that's not always the case. Momovation worked alongside with the Detox Project on a special project to test the top selling pea protein brands on Amazon. So we were specifically looking for pesticides, 400 plus pesticides, but specifically for glyphosate. Now the Detox Project is a perfect partner to be able to do this with because they do lab testing for glyphosate all day long. So essentially what we did is we took the top selling pea protein brands, we sent them off to the lab and took a look at them. The organic pea protein brands had more or about the same amount as the conventional brands. Understand that glyphosate is prohibited in the organic standards, which means it's not allowed to be in there. Here's the scale. Zero to nine parts per billion is a non-detect level of no concern. 10 to 79 parts per billion is trace amounts and slight concern. And then anything above 80 parts per billion is of high concern. Okay, are you ready for the results? These are the top five selling pea protein brands on Amazon as of March. First, the conventional brands. Naked Pea comes in at 39 parts per billion. Then Anthony's Pea Protein comes in at 80 parts per billion. Now to the organic brands. Sun Warrior, Warrior Blend, 15 parts per billion. Two different batches from Purely Inspired. First one, 10 parts per billion. Then another one, 22 parts per billion. Two batches of Orgain, organic plant-based protein powder, 83 parts per billion, and the second batch, 281 parts per billion. So, and as you can see, the top selling organic pea protein brand, which was Orgain, not only had the most glyphosate in it, but it had the most glyphosate in it twice when we tested it. Bottom line, all of these brands that are containing organic pea protein, any brand out there needs to test their supply immediately to make sure that they are not putting adulterated ingredients inside their organic products because that is not what the consumer wants. From, from our research, we found that the organic pea protein supply is coming primarily from China and Canada. We, we don't think it's happening on the farm. We think it's probably happening more in the manufacturing or a swapping out or something like that. But what we do know is there's something drastically wrong happening here. And the ingredients are becoming adulterated with glyphosate. And now that we're sitting in the principal's office, how do we fix this? The organic industry needs to start testing their supply chain. And you know what? Testing like this is already being done in Europe. Europe actually has a zero tolerance policy on glyphosate. Now it's very possible that these organic brands have no idea that there is glyphosate in their product. That's because they're not mandated to test, so they may not know. But what I am recommending is that they start testing so that they know and then avoid these adulterated ingredients. So Momovation and the Detox Project are actually asking you for help. You can help us figure out which brands have adulterated ingredients and which brands do not. And what we wanna do is we wanna start testing more of the food supply in different categories. Testing is super expensive, so we started up a GoFundMe page to raise money so that we could do this testing. So click on the link below and learn more about this project so you can be part of the solution. Make sure to share this video and make sure to tell all of your friends about this contaminated pea protein issue. Help us raise some money and share away. Let's crowdfund this bad boy and find out once and for all which brands and products are truly safe for your family. Thanks for supporting Momovation and the Detox Project.